Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss chronic inflammation. As the name suggests, the, it is the inflammation of a prolonged duration, that is weeks or months, in which inflammation as well as tissue injury as well as tissue repairs, all of this coexist. So what is chronic inflammation? Any inflammation which is of long duration, wherein we can find inflammation also, we can find tissue injury sign also, and there are attempts of tissue repair also, all the three coexisting together. Examples could be anything of chronic duration like rheumatoid arthritis, atherosclerosis, tuberculosis, or pulmonary fibrosis. Now, causes of chronic inflammation. Uh, it could be persistent infections. Or it could be immune-mediated inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, or prolonged exposure to a potentially toxic agent, whether it is exogenous or endogenous, like in silicosis or eth So the causes could be persistent infection, immune-mediated inflammatory disease, or prolonged exposure to a toxic agent. Now, the morphological feature is uh, there will be infiltration with mononuclear cells. There will be tissue destruction and healing by there will be attempts at healing by connected tissue replacement of the damaged uh, tissue plus there will be angiogenesis and fibrosis so these are the characteristic features of uh, chronic inflammation we will we will find the uh, mononuclear cell infiltration we will find some tissue destruction then we will find also fibrosis angiogenesis or any uh, attempt of healing by connected tissue replacement so these are characteristic features found in chronic inflammation now uh, the role of macrophages in chronic inflammation before going to it we should know what are macrophages so how are they produced if we talk about bone marrow there are stem cells which converts into monoblast in the blood they convert into monocyte and monocyte itself in the tissue converts into the macrophages the name macrophages are named uh, like uh, microglia and CNS, these are macrophages only. Kupfer cells in liver are macrophages only. Alveolar macrophages in, in the lung are macrophages. Osteoclast in bone are macrophages only. So, bone marrow to blood to monocyte to uh, macrophages. So, this is how macrophages are produced. Now, let us see the role in chronic inflammation. So, these are the circulating monocytes. Now, they will enter the tissue and convert into tissue macrophages. Now, the... Uh, the the tissue macrophages will get activated. Now, there are two mechanisms of activation of macrophages. One is classically activated macrophages and the other one is alternatively activated macrophages. The classically activated macrophages are activated by the microbial product or the interferon gamma. And alternatively activated macrophages are activated either by uh, any cytokines other than interferon gamma, interleukin-4, for example. Now, this uh, classically activated macrophages, they releases reactive oxygen species, nitrogen species, lysosomal enzymes. So the it uh, the role is microbicidal. Okay, while the alternatively activated macrophages they release growth factors TGF beta, FGF. So they are involved in angiogenesis, fibrosis, tissue repair, or collagen synthesis. Okay. Now, we should remember that macrophage is the dominant cellular player in the chronic inflammation. How does it form? Monocyte, they begin to immigrate into the extravascular tissue, then they uh, undergo transformation into the extravascular tissue into macrophages. Now, the macrophages can be activated by microbial products or cytokines secreted by the activated T cells or other chemical mediators. These activated macrophages, they eliminate the injurious, uh, injurious agent, the microbes. Okay, it eliminate it initiate the process of repair also, and it itself is responsible for responsible for much of the tissue injury in case of chronic inflammation. Okay. Now, what are the products of activated macrophages? Reactive oxygen species and nitrogen species. These are microbial and also toxic to the host cells. Then proteases. These are toxic to the extra cytokines and chemotactive factors they causes influx of other cells then growth factors causes fibroblast proliferation collagen de uh, deposition angiogenesis so these are the products reactive oxygen nitrogen species proteases cytokines chemotactive factors and growth factors okay then there are other cells also which are involved in chronic inflammation like lymphocyte plasma cells eosinophils or mast cells lymphocytes are the dominant population if the chronic inflammation is because of autoimmune diseases or any other hypersensitivity disease the morphology, uh, usually it is mononuclear cell infiltration, okay? Other than that, we can see the formation of granuloma. What is a granuloma? It is a microscopic aggregation of activated lymphocytes in the center and it is surrounded by mononuclear cells. Mononuclear cells like lymphocytes or plasma cells. These uh, macrophages can get activated into epithelioid cells also. Epithelioid cells means epithelial-like cells. And some may fuse into giant cell. So this is the morphology and I've shown you in the diagram. So this is all about chronic inflammation.